Today's gonna be an incredibly short tutorial. I'm right outside my entrance here and I have these beautiful flowers popping up and I would like to shoot a macro shot. But the problem is I don't have a macro lens and I don't wanna buy one. The lens on this camera is a 35 millimeter from Sony and the minimum focusing distance is about a foot or 0.3 meters. And that just doesn't get me close enough. So the little camera act that I learned a while back is to actually flip the lens and create a DIY macro lens. And here we go. Whoa, that is incredible. So the depth of field gets incredibly shallow. You can of course not adjust your aperture if you don't have a manual lens, but still this is so amazing. And let's try if it works on a longer lens. Okay, so here I am with a 24 to 105. So here I am at 24 millimeters. Unfortunately, this is very shaky, so I would preferably use this with a tripod. Let's see what happens if we zoom in. Okay, so if we zoom in, the distance goes very far away. It's a bit funny that this makes a shutter sound since it doesn't have a mechanical shutter. I mean, just look at how close I am to this thing. Wow. It's so shaky though. <laughs> hmm. Pretty cool. All right, so this is a Samyang 14 millimeters f2.8. And let's see what happens. It's not the easiest sort of setup to work with, I guess, but still. Whoa, okay. Okay, so I'm literally almost on the flower. Look at this snail. I'm almost touching the snail with the camera. So maybe this isn't super useful. The shallow depth of field just gets way too thin and it's really hard to focus on anything. But I guess if you have something with a flat surface and you keep the camera parallel to it, I guess, this would work very good. Okay, so the 14 millimeter is a bit too wide. I guess something between 24 and 50. Flip that and you have a really solid DIY macro lens for no money. Now, maybe you found this useful, maybe you didn't. I don't think I will use this all the time, but still it's a pretty cool gimmick to just be able to flip the lens whenever you need to in, let's say, a run and gun situation. Still, I wanna thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.